Welcome back to Conscious Creation. I am so excited to be able to say that I am finally back on YouTube. Um, I'm super excited for this new year. Um, it is January 1st, 2022. And we're kickstarting Conscious Creation on YouTube again. Yes! <laughs> I'm so beyond excited. And if you haven't before, meet my precious Zeppelins. He's the cutest of pretty ever's. Say hi, Zeppelins. Say hello. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, it's already probably around like 2.30 today. I've been contemplating if I wanted to start my vlog today or wait till tomorrow. And I was like, oh, do it. What's stopping you? What's holding you back? So here we are. Vlog, we're going to say this is vlog number one of the new Conscious Creation. It's so good. I'm so excited for this. So excited to be vlogging. So excited just to see where life takes me over the next year. It is January 1st. It is a new year. Um, I've been spending a lot, a lot of time really reflecting um, and in, like envisioning what I want this year to look like. And just, it's been absolutely amazing. So peaceful. I've been sitting in this hammock probably for the past week. Um, it is this, or January now, but it's still like in the 70s where I live, and so it feels so good. Um, it's about to drop down, but I'm so thankful that it's been so amazing and so peaceful outside, and I've been able to enjoy it so much. Also, since I've been gone, I did me a little stick and poke. I got a st I did a stick and poke on my body. <laughs> and it's actually, it turned out really good, so... Da -da -da. There it is. Isn't it kind of good? If you zoom in really a lot, like you can, you can kind of see like the, the the little dots. But I think it turned out really freaking good for my first ever stick and poke. And it, it's it really is like giving me just so much energy for the new year. And it's a very good representation of all of the strikes, the lightning, the fire the energy that is coming into 2020 for me and for everyone so yeah i'm probably gonna go on a walk it feels really freaking good outside and i want to enjoy it. it's probably the last day in the 70s tomorrow it's supposed to be like 60 something and rainy i'm excited for that but i want to be able to enjoy this weather so i'm gonna take you on it i've been practicing my skateboarding skills so let's see it My walk commences. I was just thinking about how much I miss volleyball. Um, if you guys didn't know, I play volleyball. I have for, gosh, I don't even know how many years now, since eighth grade. So, eight, five, six, seven, eight years. Huh. Um, and this weather just makes me wanna play so bad. Um, I'm very curious to know what sport did you play and what sport do you play it's really good to be active it's really good to move our bodies it's really good to get the energy flowing with through our system and gosh even that skateboarding for literally five minutes got me worked up <laughs> but it's really good to get the blood flowing and it helps you get that stagnant energy out of your body it helps you 
it helps create blood flow. It helps create movement. And when we stay in stagnicity for so long, it can make us depressed. It can make us sad. It can keep us in a lower vibration. And so through yoga, through movement, through exercise, we're able to break into those parts of stagnicity and release them and let them flow. And it helps so much mentally, physically, spiritually. There are so many benefits to moving your body that it's unimaginable, like all of the benefits. So I would love down to know down in the, wow. I would love to know down in the comments, what's your favorite way of moving your energy? Whether that be a sport, whether that be dancing, which dancing is a sport, whether that be yoga, I wanna know. One of my favorite parts of this walk is jumping over this big river. And I shouldn't do it right there because there's a bunch of briars. So I'm gonna walk around real quick. And I like to imagine myself in slow motion when I'm up in the air. Are you ready? I've never done this with the camera yet. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear, but in that last cup, there were a bunch of, or a couple, I should say, crows calling, I guess is the word to say. And I'm gonna insert the video after I talk about this, but I was on a walk yesterday. And when I tell you, there were hundreds, hundreds of crows, a twig in my hair, hundreds of crows calling in the middle of the woods, just like, it is insane the sound that they were making just because all of them were crowing at the same time. So, edit in Kaden, insert clip here. me editing if you have any idea what over a hundred crows in a murder means spiritually for me to experience please let me know down in the comments below because i'm not really sure what that means i'm not like scared about it but i'm curious to know how that affected my life thank you <laughs> I stumbled across this place probably two weeks ago now. It's literally behind my house, just in the middle of the woods. I've lived at this house for probably 10 years now, and I've never known about it. I've never taken the time to really walk around the woods back in my house. And I found such a beautiful place, a beautiful place. and. It, that just brings me, I want to, there's also a chair that's just randomly sitting here that I love sitting in and meditating. But I wanted to bring that up because there are so many spectacular things around you that when we're so used to a certain area of, that we live in or that we go to or something, we usually tend to stay in the same patterns, do the same things, walk the same walks. And it's about switching it up. It's about changing what you're doing because that is the key to changing your life is to change the little things that you do every single day. And one of those things that I, I had never thought about walking back here and it has changed my life because now I have this beautiful little creek or pond or whatever you want to call it behind my house that I can come to and there's a chair for me to meditate in nature in this beautiful land. 
and it changed my life for one simple choice of just going and roaming around my backyard without an intention behind it or my intention was to just roam and just see what I could find explore it look how spectacular that is wow how could you not love experiencing this earth Hi Zeppelin. So I just did a little reading with my Dreams of Gaia tarot deck. It's amazing. It is my personal deck that I do not give any readings with. It is solely for me and my understanding of this earth. But I did want to read to you, firstly, I'll show you the card that I got. It is Heaven and Earth. It's an um, earth card or a pinnacle card if you want to think about it as tarot. But it's Heaven and Earth, if you can see that there. Um, and so I wanted to read to you just one or two little things that I was had a profound impact on me through reading this. Um, one, you are a spiritual being, a soul living in a physical body in order to experience and learn from life. You are here to learn from those experiences in order to grow and evolve. It is important to integrate and ground your beliefs in a higher power or the intangible here on this physical plane. And the second one that I love so much is it can be said that the ordinary is magical and the magic is quite ordinary. To work magic is a simple process of creating and focusing energy with intent, which means that everything you do with intent from adding a string of numbers to making a nice dinner for friends is an act of making magic. Magic is in everything. It's the intention behind what you're doing that is creating the magic. So that's just some word for thought or food for thought. Um, yeah. Love you guys and I'll see you guys. All right. So I've been chilling for a little bit now. It is, I think, around five and it is time for dinner. If you didn't know, I am about 95% vegan. <laughs> I, I'll dabble in a little bit sometimes, a guilty pleasure of mine, but I'm going to take you along and we're going to make some food. I have no clue what I'm making yet, but we shall see. look at this vegan cookbook as just like some inspiration um i usually don't like actually go by what they say i use it as like a a guide and then i do kind of my own thing so let's see what i make say hello to the camera yeah
So I've been hanging out for a little bit. I listened to a podcast, ate my food, and I've been chilling. Um, I am currently about to journal a little bit. I've had a, 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 some things come up. Um, I've had a couple dreams lately that have been kind of pointing me in a direction of needing to dive deeper and see what's underneath the surface of all of this, these things that have happened in my life and the, I guess, traumas that have occurred and they're now resurfacing, resurfacing for me to shed light on. And so I will be doing that. Um, yeah, that's really it. I urge you, if you have anything that may be coming up for you, any feelings, any past pains that are coming up for you in your present moment to allow it. Don't try and hide from and push away these pain. Instead, use them as your power. Realize that you are stronger than that pain. You are capable, okay. You are capable of, sorry, Zeppelin just attacked my hand because I wasn't petting him. Feisty boy. The more you push it away, the harder it's going to be to let go of it. All right? So just take some time and just know that you are loved. Remind yourself, if you ever, if you're getting in this loop of thoughts of not feeling worthy, whatever trauma, whatever may come up for you, just say to yourself, I love myself even through this pain. And that should help you out. I love you guys. I love you so much. Also, hold on. I have to show you guys my new 2022 journal. It is incredible. <laughs> Look at that. Hold on. I have to get better lighting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Those little Saturns. Gorgeous. I love it so much. Okay, bye now. Shadow work complete. I'm going to take this time to really pinpoint the power of compassion. Even to the people who have hurt us the most. The people who we've hold so much anger against. The people who have done things to us that we are like unimaginable and you would never do to someone. To hold compassion for them, to thank them for the strength and the, the power that you have created within you to overcome. Zeppelin's playing with some toys. <laughs> to be grateful for all the experiences you have because they are all lessons. They are all there to help you. They are all there to help you grow. Nothing happens against you, but everything happens for you. So, I ended up doing a lot more shadow work. Um, I tried to cut it off like mid through what I needed to uncover and realized that I needed to keep going. But I think I'm done now. <sighs> I feel much better. Key, key thing. Is that we create everything. So when we blame someone, when we blame circumstances, when we blame experiences for making us the way that we are, we created those in the first place. So how did, how were your beliefs? How, what did you do to create that to happen? No matter what it is, 
it's a very hard pill to swallow sometimes. It's hard to, especially in the middle of triggers and when we are triggered, to realize that we are the ones that are creating it. So that is my just little TED talk from my shadow work session. Again, I am about to chill. I think I want to draw. I had got this vision in my head of a drawing that I'm so excited to start. I won't be showing it yet. Well, obviously, I haven't even started it, but she will be revealed on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should. It's at Kaden underscore conscious creation. If I can figure out with YouTube how to put that somewhere, somewhere, up here, up there, I will. <laughs> I'm new to all this still. So, bear with me, okay? Um, but I'm going to light some incense, also a bunch of pictures of little baby Caden and 18-year-old Caden. Completely different than this Caden, this new version. Um, anyways, I'm going to draw and watch some TV and just chillax, light some incense. <laughs> So I'm taking you guys along the journey with me. I wanted to decorate this wall behind me. So hold on, let me, cause I will be recording a lot of videos here. I wanted to make it look cute. And so I wanted to bring you guys along. I think I already picked out what I want. Now it's just a matter of putting it up there. I already put her up there, cute. I have a couple more things, and so I thought I'd just, I guess I'll just do a little time lapse of it. <laughs> All right, so I ended up putting some lights up too. Um, I did it off camera because I wanted it to be a surprise for you guys. Um, I think it looks super awesome. I'm not really sure how the lighting is gonna be yet. We're still tweaking it. Um, but I think it looks pretty cool. Are you ready? Three, two, one, ta-da. Doesn't it look pretty dope with the lights around the... See, it's already kind of blurry, but come on all right so i'm gonna show you guys like everything in it so i drew these guys these guys this means knowledge i forget what it is but it's just a symbol for knowledge painted this guy i love rolling stones um i got these when i was in barcelona painted this this is my divine feminine drawing i have a divine masculine drawing coming it just isn't ready yet so he will be up here too at some point i painted that guy he it's really cool it looks like it's dripping whenever the um the lights are changing some postcards from ireland that i got when i was there just some stickers from redbubble that are cool <laughs> and then i also drew this mushroom and then this coca-cola tray that i put as a shelf i absolutely adore i love coke um like vintage coke products very weirdly but in here i just have like this clay thing that i found at goodwill super cool a shell i found this drummer guy and then my magical wand phone walkie talkie whatever you want to call it <laughs> so this is what it looks like when i'm sitting down i'm gonna re be reporting my recording my podcast here see that's a little weird. I kind of like it though. We'll have to think about it, the like streaking. Um, somebody has the zoomies. <laughs> so 
So yeah, this is what it looks like. I really enjoy it. I might switch it up a little bit. You may not know. I mean, the world may never know, all right? I love designing and so, and I love switching things up, switching the energy up, so yeah. I will see you guys now. So I am signing off now. It is about bedtime for me. Thank you so much for joining and being here with me for my first day of 2022. I am beyond excited for what this year has to offer. Um, I have so much vision, so many visions and dreams that I cannot wait to pursue through this entire year. And this is one of them. Um, really starting to ramp up YouTube and vlogging and I also um, am going to be posting my podcast on YouTube too as a vid video form so keep a lookout for that um, and if you don't follow me on Instagram or know who I am if this is your first ever video you're watching of me my name's Kaden um, you can check me out on Instagram at Conscious Creation um, TikTok is C Creation 38 and I'll link everything down below to make sure that you can find me on any everything. So yeah, I again, I appreciate you so much for being here with me. Zeppelin wants to say goodbye to you guys. Say bye, Zeppers. Okay. <laughs> the best goodbye there is, I guess. <laughs> A nice bite on the arm. <laughs> Anyways, I had such a blast creating this for you guys. I'm so beyond excited for YouTube and really creating fun content for you guys, but also content that's going to help you change your life and help you create the life of your dreams. I'm ready. I'm really wanting to recreate what social media is like. It's I'm done with the tearing down of others and trying to be better than others. And um, this hierarchy of I'm better than you because I have more views or this is that we are all on this path together. And I'm here to lift you up as much as you are to lift me up. And so I'm so excited where we can go together and how we can rewrite social media to become a more uplifting place for all and to truly help you become the conscious creator of your reality. I love you so much and thank you so much for watching this whole video. It means the world. Let me, do, let me know down in the comments below how you like this video. Also, this is crazy to say, but please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world, and I would love for you to become a creator with me. I love you so much. Bye, creators.